Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe, we're going over and reviewing Digital Extremes themselves because I want to see how the company's doing. The best way to really do this right now is on Glassdoor.ca or .com. Well, I guess it's CA because we're in Canada and they're in Canada. Yeah. And to be honest, it's really hard to get a proper account from internal employees for like any company around the world. But this will probably the be, be the best method. I always wonder how a sort of company like DE works internally. So let's look at the reviews. It looks like most people, no shock there, do like the company. There's a there's a handful of one, two, three, four stars, but there are a lot as of the past. Oh, okay. As of the past year, it seems there's a lot more five stars overall. I guess we'll take a look now. First five star, an excellent place to work and grow. Cool, cool, cool. Normal one there, right? This one, five star. People are nice, willing to help. Not recommended. Okay, okay, let's see this one. It's one star, so it's probably a little aggro, but let's see. Nice office, lots of things to do. Pool table, okay, okay. They have a full kitchen in-house chef to prepare lunch. Cool, actually cool. Lots of snacks, nice. Okay, the upper management is all based on relationships or friendship, not efficiency or knowledge, nor merit. I wonder how true this is. This is very true in a lot of places. Um, it's always like a gamble, right? I knew when I worked in a corporate, there was a lot of nepotism and relationship, friendship, BS going on, and a lot of like politics. But then there's, of course, a lot of people that still work hard and are hard workers, and a ton of people who aren't hired that way. But yeah, of course, there's a lot of that always going on, and it's fucking awful. Company is located in a small town with absolutely nothing fun to do. A few years ago, real estate was basically everything they had going for it. No more. If all you want is to raise your family and maybe get a house, this is it. But if you're looking for culture and a scene of any kind, stay away. This seems honestly like a pretty normal, this company's kind of meh review. It doesn't seem anything too terrible, to be honest. But like, a lot of nepotism and friendship relationships are sadly very normal. It's very depressing, but it's probably, hopefully not too aggressive, but hey, who knows? They love working there, good salary, good benefits, compensation, culture, occasionally work-life balance is impacted, not frequently enough, probably when uh, we break the game and when uh, content drops happen, but uh, just don't worry about it. An okay starting opportunity, but serious cultural issues. Former employee, more than five years. Oh, nice. Programmer in London. Spacious office, lots of, oh my god, this one's huge, I like this one. Spacious office, lots of recreational areas, great downtown location, somewhat low cost, good to work on Warframe, engage with its fan, Tenocon, yeah, learn a lot of work, pri pr pr uh, proprietary engines, toolchain, cool, 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 good coworkers, some good coworkers, relatively minimal crunch, maybe four to eight weeks per year. Although, the less you do, the less you'll advance. Ooh, that's annoying, but yeah. Okay, let's get into cons. The company has an extremely dictatorial style of leadership. It's not the sort of place where great ideas can come from anywhere or where you can easily explore other passions. That does make sense seeing Warframe, to be fair. Most of the dev team know not to challenge the creative leadership on any design decision and that even implementation details are usually not up for debate, which can feel very demoralizing at times. Yikes. I feel like this is probably going to be the best review we see, but we'll see. There's no transparency around what direction the game will take or the studio's longer-term business plans. Yeah, that's probably because they don't have one. We never held any company town halls or got design updates, except for a quick this was great year, thank you, the annual Christmas party. Tenocon was usually the only time we'd learn what we'd be working on for the next 12 months. <laughs> okay, that's actually hilarious and feels bad. Okay. There's definitely an inner circle, mostly of higher-ups, directors, some people from HR and finance, but I did see the occasional junior employee break into it as well. Nice. Which means behind closed doors, it's not nice, drink scotch, make all the decisions, and if you aren't in it, you're unlikely to advance. Feels bad. They are known to disappear underperforming employees, walk them out of the building at 9am, no goodbyes, not allowed to pack their own things, slack profile erased, which always felt very gross to me. Okay, well, I mean, that's a little fucked up. It's only, like, usually known to do that, I would say, and it's normal if the employee themselves is, like, aggro, but yikes. Advice to management. 
While I firmly believe that the dictatorial style of leadership has no place in the modern tech company, it's largely why I left. I can't rule out the possibility it's partly the reason why Warframe is still going after eight years of release. Who knows? So you'll have to decide for yourselves with the cost of team morale and retention's worth it. I suspect it's already begun to have diminishing returns. Nice. However, there's zero reason for the lack of transparency. It costs almost nothing to hold a monthly town hall where you get the whole dev team excited about what's going on in the game and how things are progressing. They shouldn't be expected to get that information from Tenocon or the Friday live streams or from a bunch of fragmented Slack conversations across various channels. Very true. It seems like, as we've always expected, Warframe's kind of a mess internally, and you know what? There's not a whole lot of say, right? So, yeah, feels bad, man. Amazing company, five stars, right? They like it, great start, interview pretty straightforward, not really cost for the time being, okay, they liked it. Yeah, they liked it, five stars. Good, good, cool. Yeah, like, I bet for a lot of people, they just like, they're fine work, just working at a place, making the game, right, doing stuff like that. But for a lot of people, like, they probably get annoyed and hate the whole uh, nepotism and or preferential treatment of certain employees, but you see it everywhere. It is what it is, sadly. It's best to stomp it out as much as possible, right? But, oh well. Not really a con, but be aware they are a huge proprietary development pipeline made in C++, so be prepared for learning a lot of in the beginning. Nice. Yeah, it looks like a lot of it's like, okay, they're pretty cool, pretty nice. Cons, work can be a bit stressful at times due to shifting deadlines, but this is the games industry as a whole. Sometimes things can get a bit disorganized. Yeah, I mean, like, it seems like, for the most part, eh, probably a pretty normal place to work at, with minor annoying uh, corruption in people here and there, as is every place. Like, most places, like, yeah, it's pretty good, management's not always the best, raises are too far and few, even though we are meant to get a yearly raise, that's, yeah, makes sense, especially during the uh, 2021 year. Five-year employee, current employee, nice. Working on only one game gets boring after a while, fair enough, fair enough. Feel you there, you know, sometimes you just need a break. Okay, ta -ta -ta, four stars. Company is good ongoing project. They care about staff, one place. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cons location, Ontario. There's a small town vibe, not not for everyone, kinda sucks. Clicky culture. Okay, yeah. Can be isolating, but this is common for 200 plus staff studio. Advice to management. I would recommend helping lower level staff grow and make sure some of the leads stay up to date in their fields. Okay. So, DE has trouble with growth and remote. Current employee less than one year. Eh. Constant content releases, pros, good tools, support from teams, cons. No real plan or opportunity for employee growth. Rip. No experimentation or plan to address remote work situation. Oh, rip. Well, whatever. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, that whatever. Seems like DE, for the most part, looks like a pretty normal company. Not quite friendly to beginners. Management at this messy lack of feedback, not enough training for newbies, great lunch, most. Okay, like you see a lot of the normal stuff, right? Not great training, right? They use lower and like old stuff, proprietary tech for C++, okay. Makes sense. Uh, clicky, kind of annoying internal uh, humans sometimes. Like, yeah, that it is what it is. I get it, I worked in Worked in big oil companies, right? You just see that. And then, like, the internal politics between people can be a huge pain in the butt. But it seems like working at DE's, as a company, pretty normal. But they're internally kind of a mess, as is a lot of companies, with no real direction. So that seems to be the true issue, right? But seems like compared to a lot of other game companies, they don't do so too bad, right? They're doing pretty good. I thought we'd just go over and review some of uh, the, you know, digital extremes type of reviews, because I wanted to see. Looks like they're okay, it could be better. At this point, something like four years behind, I wouldn't even bother caring too much, because that's too out of date, but that's why I wanted to go over the most recent years. They do have some photos here, right? Ah, oh, yeah, place looks cool. I mean, it's... It's a studio, yeah, what what do you expect? It looks pretty cool, nice, pumpkins, cool, cool, cool. Glassdoor is kind of a whatever uh, website anyways. There's not a lot of great websites. You'd probably get a lot of info on LinkedIn if you want to snoop through uh, posts if you truly wanted to, but hey, who knows? Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think uh, Warframe's doing internally. They seem fine, bit of a mess, but fine other than that. But I know people go crazy about Warframe all the time and how their company is run, but realistically, 
It's not like most of us, if any of us, actually know what's going on. So, hey, it is what it is. Just wanted to take a look at that. You know, let me know what you think. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, sub, like, favorite. Check out any of my other random content, and I will see you next time. Peace.